Look. Huh? It's not fun. It's <laughs> disgusting. It is. You know when you sleep and the, the sheet comes off the mattress? Look at this mattress. We booked this room last night. We just thought, you know what, it's going to be one night, it'll be fine. Down here, there was a cockroach about that big. It was actually in the bathroom when we first came. This is the bathroom that was actually wet and dirty when we came in. But you know when you're just so tired, we were just like, we're just gonna have to. Today we're gonna go to El Nido Airport and we are gonna fly back to Manila. We've got a really cool hotel we're gonna go to, so stick with us. Lawrence organised a lift for us to go to the airport and he's suggesting a motorbike. Look. One second. He said, oh, I'll come and pick you up and I'll take you. Pointing at a pickup truck next to us. So I said, oh, okay. Going in that, he said, no, 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 moped. I was like, ah. Oh. He's going to put the suitcases on the moped, take one come back, take the other one, come back. Yeah. So I think what we might have to do is go up to the top and get tricycle, yeah. fill one tricycle up yeah. and then fill the other one up. This is the luxury travel at El Nido Airport. Well What, in mine? Juice, two ham and cheese toasties, and like a mango roll thing. This yes, is absolutely delicious. It's called Sai Pao and it's vegan. I think it's got like, it's made of fruit on the inside, but it's savory. So, those of us who aren't familiar with the story, basically, to get to El Nido, normally you fly into an airport called Porta Princesa and then you get like a five or six hour, like a minivan to El Nido. And the journey was hell on earth. So bumpy, like I felt so sick. Lawrence even felt sick. Like Nia just had enough. It was very, very hot. So we're a third of the way there. It's really, really yeah, it's tough. Yeah. And we did notice that there was an airport in El Nido itself. But to get from Chargo where we were to El Nido Airport was gonna cost us basically three times as much. So we opted not to do that then. The reason why we stayed in that horrible place last night was because it was near the airport and you can stay at a nice hotel here, but they were quite expensive and we were literally going to be in it for just the night, that's it. So, And this one is so much quicker and easier. I'm really enjoying our choice so far. The airport's lovely. Well, it's just like going into a four or five star hotel, really, it's nice. Check-in, security, it was literally a breeze. It took like like a few minutes to get through both. There was no queues. There's literally one flight here at a time. And you can actually see the planes when you're on the beach here. You see the planes coming in and out and they fly over the beach. So I think it's a plane near it. It's just landed. Just about to board.
have a propeller plane. You can book the seats directly um, from their website, which is the most easiest way I can find like all of the flights. They do book out really quickly, so be careful and make sure you book them in advance. No, no. about to see fish in the bedroom. Are we going to see dolphin? No, no dolphin. No sharks? No sharks. Big fish. No big fish. Small fish. No big fish. Bump for El Nido. We're going to have fishes in the bedroom. Fish. We're going to sleep with us. This one I'm proud now. We made it. We're in Manila. And we're gonna go and get a taxi or grab, and make our way to our new hotel, which is so exciting. No, no, I think we're gonna go in the fish room. Yeah, okay. Are you ready to go in the fish room? Yeah! Can you do the card? Do you wanna do it? by the way, is literally Mommy, the comfiest bed we've had so far. Mommy, stuck. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Mommy, Mommy. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Boys, play so rough all the time. 